So a couple of days ago I messaged Flame because he'd posted a couple of Five of a Kind wins in Haps Discord and uh, I assumed he'd done it what, via uh, Chicken and um, I, I was correct. So we were just talking about um, you know the differences now um, between playing Chicken pre-patch and post-patch. Obviously more lives is, um, is very good for Chicken. Uh, it's good for Lioness as well. Uh, I should pause here quickly to mention that that team had a crane give blowfish melon and then get the melon removed by the elephant. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what they were going for there. But just like pre-patch, a lot of the best uh, chicken and lioness games begin with getting turn 9 alpaca. So... Um, I already have the level 2 crow on board. This game was actually the first game I played after talking to Flame. We'd been discussing various, you know, potential fives and the topic of swordfish came up. And I mentioned I'd tried it before a few times, but I would always end up either with too few swordfish or I would just win with only a couple of swordfish because they can just mm. do so much damage to opposing teams. You know, if you delete their top two best units you often only need one sort of mediocre unit to clean up the the remaining pets at the back so here our level up sequence gives us two more alpacas and um the another highland cow so maybe at this point i was thinking let's do try and do five highland cows because it very very rapidly the, um, even with only a couple of them you'll get a almost 50 50 uh, golden retriever being summoned and here we actually don't quite have enough to beat uh, beat this team it's like two health away or something like that but um, as soon as the highland cow gets up to up to level three it's going to be we're going to start basically winning games by accident and mm. um, i can't remember if i combine the highland cow straight away here or not i do get the lioness Okay, so we do have Highland Cow, which means it's giving... I think it's going to be a 40-something retriever. We'll see in the next battle, but... Um, I can't remember what I was thinking about here with the... Um, with the f freezing the chocolate and the alpaca, because I, I end up going for... Um, I'm trying to level up the second alpaca. Obviously, you can sort of um, give yourself extra triggers if you have two alpacas, so you can use... Um, you know, if you if you use up both triggers on one, you can then um, either transfer triggers across, or just just level up the level one, and then you'll get two more. Um, now here, I, it looks. I mean, you look at this team; it, is, it looks absolutely horrendous for turn ten with the stats, but it matches us against another four squad, and we we get we get a 27, 27 retriever coming in. And it's actually an easy win in the end. Um, so now we can get uh, level 3 Lioness. And yeah, so to continue <laughs> the story, really, I was talking to Flame about Swordfish. And I was just discussing, you know, the various approaches. You, uh, you would imagine that, you know, the, the obvious idea would be to have all five with um, green pepper. And I, I said to him, I very rarely have green pepper in the pack. I just don't like using it. Um, uh, but in theory, you know, if you get a good enough um, shop, you know, from buy selling with uh, chicken or from from just from Lioness, you can win without needing the pepper because you can, um, you know, you can have melon or lemon or even garlic on a 50-50 level one swordfish and it will survive its, its own um, shot. And here again, despite having a low statted team, we're actually gonna win basically by accident again. Um, and at that, po at that point you realize, you know, the, the Highland cow, although I could try and continue looking for more Highland cows, the problem is that the, the trumpets are basically maxed out already. So their stats are just not good enough yet. I need to get the chicken going to actually scale the shop up to a point where I could buy more of them. So here the alpaca gets, the two alpacas get combined and we can begin um, buy selling. 
and I think I did miss a tier one there. Now I do get swordfish on this on, on this roll, and and what I should say is that this was the first game I tried after talking to Flame about potentially going for swordfish again, and and how I'd had so much uh, bad luck with it, but um, that that luck definitely turned around in this in this game. So I keep the swordfish frozen because of the new life system. We're still pretty comfortable. We only need four more wins. Um, I don't really mind if I lose the next game because one or two more turns of the chicken and the lioness, the the shop is going to be incredible. And um, then it'll just be a case of finding the remaining swordfish. So again here, the Highland Cow <laughs> is so good when you can level it up so quickly that it's summon basically summoning a 50-50 every turn. So we'll sell the pig. Do another um, buy sell here. And I did think about just taking the swordfish straight away and getting level two, but I actually want it to remain level one so that, um, you know, it, there's also more chance of me losing or drawing if it's level one, because at level two, it's basically guaranteed to kill anything that doesn't have pepper or like coconut, but the chances of, a, of anyone having coconut is so slim. Um, regardless of the fact that you can technically get it in the shop now. So at this point, I think I just uh, sell the lioness because it's not going to be necessary. Um, and I get the first swordfish in. We need the slots open in the shop to find more swordfish. And there's a melon there as well. I think I probably freeze that. Because um, I would like to have one with melon and at least one with popcorn. I did joke that to flame that having five swordfish with popcorn would be would be really good because then you know your your chances of spawning an eagle would be really uh high um but in the end i i think uh, in the next shop i'll buy the melon again here the 40 42 42 retriever um i mean we could have lost here if they'd got the right spawns from the uh from the eagle but in the end it wins easily we're just suffering from success. We really want the game to go longer um, to find have time to find the remaining swordfish. I've only got one and I'm on eight wins already, which is so, um, you know, really, norm that's very unlikely that you would get a five normally. It is increased, the chances are increased with Oyster now, but you can see here I was contemplating taking the Highland Cow there because, you know, I've already got one. <laughs> and um, that would increase my chances of finding one. Now here we do get an oyster. Unfortunately, I used the alpaca trigger on the um, on the tamarind, but but I do find a swordfish. And so um, here I possibly could have just sold the tamarind into the swordfish rather than um, rather than taking it because we we know we really we're going to have to lose a game sooner or later. Um, to have a chance and this is uh is this going to be a loss i don't think so nope the retriever yet again gets the win so now nine wins and i need to find three swordfish um the oysters are going to have to do huge work here and we go from uh up to from two oyster buy cells we go up to 23 gold and that sounds like, you know, that's going to be plenty um, because I can sell off everything and then, um, you know, throw rounds if necessary. Uh, although, to be honest, I possibly, you know, it was maybe a bit risky buying the, the melon on the swordfish if we want to try and throw. But um, here I get another tamarind. And it's so difficult to pass that up when it, the stats are that high. But in the end, I decide to roll. And I probably should unfreeze the chocolate as well. I don't remember if I have taper in this pack. It was on screen for a second there, but I couldn't see it. Um, I Obviously, we we need some way to actually win once we get the swordfish. And the melon is, you know, is potentially a way to do that. However, if I find them um, quickly, uh, quickly enough or too late, I suppose it depends which way you look at it, um, the alpaca will make them level two and then putting melon on them doesn't work because then they're doing 80 damage. And so it's killing through the melon anyway. Um, 
Now here is a bizarre situation where I, I just decide I have to just sell the tamarinds. So we double sell into a 50-50 spider and on the next roll find a swordfish, which was super unfortunate. Um, I probably could have maybe tried selling the alpaca and, um, you know, but then the problem is you're not going to get the level 2 swordfish anymore and having five level 1s you are running a slight risk that you're not going to be able to kill off, you know, bigger units, um, especially if they have melon. And we get another one on the next roll, so we're getting double instant level two swordfish. Unfortunately, that also means our our power level has just spiked massively, and we have literally three rolls to find the last swordfish. And I unfreeze the melon because I know I'm not going to be able to buy it. And we roll down one gold, one roll for all the marbles, and we get the swordfish. Man, that was lucky. So can this team win on turn 16? And the answer is yes. Now let's just replay that at 50% speed. <laughs> You can see here, actually their leopard doesn't quite have enough attack to one-shot the front swordfish. If it had just a, l a little bit more, um, the front swordfish would have been gone and we would have lost that game. We did still have lives left, so we might have managed to survive with uh, more popcorn, but there we go, five swordfish, absolutely hilarious team, and I'm so glad I managed to get it.